today we're gonna have another video, you know, all about it, all about that. YouTube is not perfect, so are we. Making mistakes, it's something that all YouTubers do make. And even if you're the biggest YouTuber right now, it's okay because once you realize the mistakes you're doing, you're actually getting to do better. Of course, it's not to blame anybody here. Let's get about it and let's do it now. Back to my channel, salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue de la Ani Canal, Konnichiwa, Watashino Channel Oni, Yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. And we're gonna talk about mistakes being made on YouTube. And like I said, we all are human beings, we all are doing that at some point, and it's just a way for you to realize it and then move forward. You know what I mean? So I've done a couple of mistakes. So Mistakes that hurt and obviously today I'm at a point where I know what I'm doing I know where I'm going and I have my own goals that has nothing to do with getting Median views or having my videos gone viral if they do good if they don't it's good as well Where I was I'm Lady Tomo I've been a content creator here on YouTube for over 10 years and I'm a style coach and I'm dedicated passionate about helping creative women entrepreneur just like you watching at the moment uncover the personal style and really getting confident into building their personal branding and really get confident with themselves in videos on YouTube because you're worth it to have that unique gift and the first mistake I would say people make when it comes to being on YouTube when it comes to being YouTuber or content creators so just starting your YouTube channel is to feel like they're entitled to have a lot more views because they made one video we need to talk about it. I mean, this is not even serious at this point. They didn't get any traction from it. They didn't get any views from it. And they're at that point where they're like, YouTube is not made for me. I'm not there. I need to get those views. And well, I kind of deserve those views because I've worked really hard enough to make those two videos. I understand what you're going through because making a video is not everything but easy. It's normal being a human being to feel that way, but you need to understand that YouTube is free. If you don't have a big enough why on to why you're on video or why you're on YouTube, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be able to get to six months doing it. Look at Mr. Beast, look at Peter McKinnon, look at all those people that went through years, 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 years before making it to the way of being popular. About Sananas, she's French. I've been following her from the beginning of it. Patricia Bright, so many examples that I could put and just say that I've seen them grow. So for you to be in a point or a place where you feel like you deserve 1 million views, we love you. I honestly love you, but it's not the place here. The more you're gonna do it, the more you're gonna get better at it. Six months from now, it's gonna be one year from now, it could be tomorrow too. Having to do your first 100 videos being crappy, it's okay if you have a big enough why to just keep pushing, to just keep doing. If you want to make that money, well, you need to build up that skill. You need to grow that thick skin too. The thing is to ignore or just forget about channel banner. Banner cover, it's definitely the thing that people are gonna see from you when they land into your channel. Everything there needs to have all the information for you to be able to sum up what you're doing, who you are, and how many times you upload videos on your channel. People need to see when they can expect your videos to be uploaded. All the great content creators out there are gonna be forgotten real quick. First, identity, when it comes to people getting to know you better. So your creativity, your visual, the way you are, the message behind your mission when it comes to being on YouTube, all of that is gonna be something that is gonna be a part of you. So you want it to be the first picture that people have from you, but have a great picture out of it. Not having an empty thing where there's nothing much happening there. Getting views, not getting engagement, not getting people to subscribe, when in the reality, we don't even know what they're doing, you know? So if you don't have a clear message into that when somebody landed your channel, 
well the algorithm here is not gonna help more than that they're not gonna be enticed to subscribe they're not gonna be enticed to see more to make it fast for people to remember about you make it easy make it short and sweet make it visual make it you the third thing is to neglect your audio quality you don't want to do that i made a video on to how you can upgrade your equipment based on the equipment that i have it's gonna be somewhere here take a look at it but if you have a really 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 small budget i think the first thing that you gotta do is to invest into an audio even if you don't have a camera you can use your mic for your phone as well or saving up for your camera if you need to buy that at some point quality of the video could be so so although i'm really 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 big into video and the visual and the quality of the complete package it's you your personal style is the background is the video and then is the audio but the audio for me comes first when it comes to having to choose which one you want to invest the most in to begin with i have a whole list of my equipment down below simple that way and you're gonna be able to kind of celebrate yourself for the first video you're gonna make so first mistake is the inconsistency i've been so guilty of that one where i would stop for a couple of weeks to a couple of months and sometimes i would even live for a couple of years it happened way 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 back into my early youtube journey that i'm regretting the most because when you do it at the beginning if you get to do more videos being consistent youtube algorithm start to rank your videos higher depending on the quality and depending on how much you attract people to watch your videos more and more if you stop right at the moment you don't have an audience yet you don't want to lose that momentum when you're starting to see the traction into your channel this is where you know you can double up the moment for you where you're gonna be able to really build that audience the more you're gonna do it the more you're gonna have an audience that's just gonna grow bigger and bigger so this is why consistency is key and you're gonna hear that all the time because the moment you stop the moment you don't have that audience people forget you and we are in a platform where there's a lot more competition i'm not saying that if you do it don't come back or just start another channel this is really much more into the strategy there but if you're coming back don't expect to have the same engagement the same views or the same people that are gonna watch your videos never 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 lose that momentum consistency people consistency my friend the next mistake here is gonna be the suffer sub if you want to be friend with algorithm with your strategy in order to even be respected as being an authority wherever you are whatever you do you need to be clean and i'm not saying that if you've been doing that in the past you need to feel ashamed of doing it i think at some point we will looking badly for views and comment tension then sometimes we just are feeling like we need to do a lot more than just being patient and now that whatever i'm telling you not to do is something that i probably have done in the past and that just pushed me to realize that it was not even worth it it's two factors that are gonna get to have a really great engagement and have the algorithm rank your videos higher this is the watch time and there's the thumbnail which is literally the door for your house for people to watch first or to see first in order to be intrigued enough to see more of your videos when it comes to the watch time is how long people are gonna stay on your videos for let's say you're doing a sub for sub so you're gonna ask random people i like your videos let's do sub for sub love your content let's be friends a lot of ways of saying it because youtube now can literally target when you do the sub for something what you're gonna do you're gonna attract a person to watch your videos because that person expects you to watch all his video if you're inviting a gamer doing anything fashion anything lifestyle you can expect a person to watch your videos because they have certain expectations from you that they're not gonna stay on your videos long enough to be interested just to keep watching your videos this is where the watch time now is more important than ever so you want to have genuine people that actually are gonna be attracted to watch your video they love what you do they love it because it's a part of the interest killing your watch time the more people are gonna do that the more it's gonna affect your watch time and the less youtube is gonna recommend your videos to other people so this is why really getting into the sub for sub is deadly for you so hope you liked it i definitely hope you learned something new <laughs>
just let me know what was the best takeaway give it a thumbs up if you like that type of video and let me know what is the kind of video you want to see more from this channel because i do my best to just do that if i can so me on instagram because i give massive value when it comes to the confidence when it comes to even the personal style because again it's related to your own branding a lot more and more and more and more you know what i mean a lot more J'espère que vous avez aimé, j'espère que vous avez adoré. Laissez-moi savoir si vous avez euh, des astuces que vous-même vous utilisez pour votre propre chaîne YouTube. I'm gonna see you for my next video. And until then, like I say all the time, keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way. Bye.